Hello everyone, welcome to your next SFML platformer tutorial. So, um, to start off this tutorial, uh, we need, uh, our output from before was that when we ran this program, uh, what we got, uh, we, we basically got uh, the output that we wanted but whenever we pressed up or down or something uh, it would detect it as continuous input now the problem is that before we had this as uh, no no what we need to do is that if we look right here we have this as an if statement okay this should be a while loop and if we change it to a while loop then when we try to actually run our uh, run it like using W or S or something like that that won't work anymore uh, it kind of got messed up whenever when we had it with the if statement and such so I'm going to delete this because this was test code and in order to fix this problem for single input what we have to do is we need to make a function that can actually run inside the event loop uh, that will actually run things that are that are um, event based uh, so and sorry it's not zoomed in yet I, I just kept it zoomed out to show you guys what we had before so when we press down it would zoom down and so on and so forth which is not what we wanted uh, so now let me zoom in okay uh, so what we want to do is we want to go to game screen dot h so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do virtual void update event and we're gonna put our event in there okay so we're gonna delete the event from the update function and or the method or whatever you like to call it and we're going to have an update event method so we're gonna say void game screen update event sf event event and nothing goes in there Okay, so as for the title screen, uh, we got to add that in there. Update event. And just delete this. And uh, for the title screen dot CPP, we just have to scroll down and we have to add in title screen. update event sf event we got that in there and we just gotta delete this right here so uh, when we call the uh, input dot update event all we gotta do is put that in the update event uh, in the update event method so we place this in there and that should work now the thing is that our menu uh, it takes an input and it's gonna take it as continuous input so what we got to do is we got to go to our menu manager dot H and we got to create an update event uh, function as well so we'll say update event SF event, and we can get rid of this no instead of event we put input manager Okay, uh, so let's go to menu manager dot CPP. Scroll down and we'll go to, oh no, that's screen manager. Okay, so let's scroll down to right here and we'll say menu manager, update event input manager and we can remove this input manager from here and what we're gonna do is with the code that has to do with controls since we only wanna do single input we'll cut that and we'll paste it right here in our update event uh, method okay so we got that set up so if we go to title screen not CPP uh, we can erase this from right here and then we'll call menu dot update event so we'll still have our update method we'll still have our update method but we just want to take input of here so if you don't even want to call it update event you want to call it controls or or anything 
key event i don't care what you want to call it you can call it anything but basically these are going to handle key presses and these are going to handle game elements okay uh so that's how it's going to work from now on so let's go to our splash screen dot h and just do void update event sf event and put our event in there uh erase that let's go to splash screen dot cpp scroll down and we'll put in our event we'll erase this right here because we don't need it anymore and anything that had to do with the input and such Sorry. We put the event in there. Okay, so now we got it set up for the splash screen and title screen. So what we got to do is go to our screen manager. So we're in screen manager dot H and we'll make a update events uh, method we'll pass an event and uh, screen manager dot cpp what we'll do is erase this right here erase this from here and we'll call screen manager update events SF event event and then we'll make a call to current screen update event so now all we got to do is go to main.cpp and our update and our event loop we call screen manager get instance update event and we pass in our event Okay, and then we just gotta remove this from here. Let's run this program and let's see what we get. Okay, so let's see if it works. Okay, so let's press the down key. Yes, and now, so now it detects it as single input. So whether we hold it down or whatever, it detects everything as single input. Same with W and S for single uh, uh, input. So that is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.